All right, let's bring you this now. Today is International Firefighters Day. Uh, Gauteng Emergency Services officials will mark the day by commemorating their fallen colleagues. Uh, Simpio Moropani, Mduduzin Lovu, as well as Katuchero Muedi, who died while trying to extinguish a blaze at the Bank of Lisbon back in September of 2018. Well, ENCF reporter Slindola Masikani joins us now uh, to give us a sense of what today will mean like for some of these firefighters and their families. Sli, a very warm good morning to you, colleague. Um, it's quite an important day, I suppose, for those who are out in the battlefield making sure that they're saving lives. They're equally remembering their colleagues today. Certainly a very, very significant day today as we commemorate and honor firefighters who on a daily basis, like those all on the front lines, uh, put their lives and their bodies at risk to save others. Uh, we're having some activities taking place in Olifant's Fontaine. We are outside the new Olifant's Fontaine fire station where we are expecting the formal program uh, to start at around 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, we are here a little bit earlier because we are expecting a march to be taking place, which we will be joining soon. I I'm joined by one of the organizers um, of that particular march. Uh, Mr. Gerald, thank you so much for your time. Just to give us a sense of why it is so important um, for firefighters to be coming out, commemorating each other, but also honoring each other. Um, thank you very much, madam, and thank you for having me. Um, the, the march today is simply for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is to respect, pay respect and honors to our brothers and sisters that we have lost in the line of duty. But the second main reason is that today is the World International Firefighters Day and we want to honor them by also communicating with the public. And, and the message that we're sending out today to the public is very simple and straightforward. We are here to protect you. We are ready to give our lives for you but we also need protection from the public. So we are marching against the attacks on emergency services personnel, firefighters, police officers, metropolis, security, anybody in the public safety industry. We are saying we are ready to protect you, but we are asking for you to protect us. Your life matters to us, so does ours to our families. So please protect us so we can protect you. Hashtag protect your protectors. Thank you. And the plea to uh, government in terms of ensuring that you guys are properly equipped? Um, we, we are definitely sure that the government is doing everything they can for us. And, and we're definitely not going to give up on the government either. We, we, we're ready to go for anything that everybody is giving to us. And for today, our match is just simply to the public. Thank you so much. Thank you, Madam. Uh, Dumelo, I want to bring in the MEC for Cooperative Governance and uh, Traditional Affairs, uh, Mr. MEC uh, Lebukhang Maile, uh, just to give us a sense of uh, what some of the interventions government has put in place to better equip uh, firefighters, because following that Bank of Lisbon fire, there was a, an outcry in terms of how uh, there seems to be a, a lack of skills. The, uh, you know, firefighters are not properly skilled to, to be able to deal with situations like that, and that they don't have the equipment to deal with uh, such situations as well. You are absolutely correct. Thank you for having me. Uh, we are definitely uh, working with the municipalities as you know that the function is in the municipalities and uh, the Department of Cooperative Governance is uh, uh, coordinating, uh, coordinating through the Disaster Management Center <clears throat> to uh, urge our municipalities to, for instance, uh, invest in uh, fire engines uh, <clears throat> that are uh, properly um, uh, equipped with advanced technologies and continue to train the uh, firefighters. Uh, there was a fire at Charlotte Matrake, as you will know, uh, and that further demonstrated that uh, our cities are still not ready because uh, uh, <clears throat> we needed to get help from other um, uh, municipalities and uh, AXA. And unfortunately, uh, some of our cities are not honest about their capacity uh, or incapacity. Uh, and as a result, they are dragging their feet in dealing with this matter. But it's one of the issues that, uh, as the MEC of COCTA, we will be uh, uh, focusing not just today only, uh, throughout, uh, and we will be uh, enforcing the law and um, uh, writing to the municipalities to demand that they have to take uh, certain steps uh, to ensure that we are uh, ready at all times. 
And what can we expect uh, in the program today, briefly? Well, uh, we, we, we also want to honor the, the three firefighters who died at the Bank of Lisbon because our offices used to be, uh, to be there. Uh, so <clears throat> we thought today we'll also uh, have a special uh, tribute to those uh, in addition to uh, the rest that have uh, died in the line of duty. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. you. All right, that's where we can leave it for now. Dumelo, we will be joining that march and bringing, the, bringing you those visuals live, um, as well as the program that's going to start at around 9 a.m. this morning.